You want to get a little bit closer? Yeah. All right, there we go. You ready? Closer than we normally stand, I know. <laughs> All right. You have to project a little bit. Duncan Almy here. I am at the Indianapolis International Film Festival at the IMA, the spectacular space here. And I'm with Dennis Hill, the central character in the film The Tiger Next Door. Correct. And uh, Dennis, I'm wondering, I mean, I, I came in uh, with no expectations. And in many ways, um, I leave uh, confused and yet uh, tremendously uh, entertained uh, in, in a very intense manner. And, I, and I, I, can only, I can only think how intense this has all been for you. And I wonder if you could share with us a little bit what it's been like going through all this, especially the filming and what it was like to see yourself on film tonight and what you thought. Well, basically, rationally speaking, I mean, I've seen myself on film before. That's, that doesn't mean anything. But what I've went through, you know, I mean, it's it's been a slow ride through hell for a while. But basically, you know, my situation started back in uh, the year 2000 when they sent my major job to Mexico and things got tough. Uh, basically, you know, I had to run in with the police and they can they unethically made the charges against me, you know, and unless you got a bunch of money to get out of it, you know, it don't work that way. You go through that. But I went through that and, you know, because I had tigers and and uh, people knew I had this special gift with them, you know, it led to another situation, and that, that was with the DNR, and, you know, another situation with them came about in 2005, you know, when uh, they tried to take them and, and found out who I really was and that I wasn't going to let it happen, you know. And, I mean, with my cats, I did it for 25 years, and you get what you give, and you see what I gave those tigers in those movies. I mean, walking with full-grown tigers, and they come here and they, you know, they know their names, they react to you. It's been tough. It's been tough, but I'm still here for some reason. And I, I, uh, I couldn't help thinking uh, that one of the reasons the film really works is because even, you know, it's, it's hard to really have a solid perspective uh, when you're concerned. Uh, and, and, and you're very complex, and I think that that's what appeals to people, and that, you know, when uh, Mr. Taft was sort of like attacking you, mm -hmm. you really were calm. And I, wonder, you know, where do you find that calm and, and, and what do you think about the fact that it's your complexity that is appealing to people as far as an audience is concerned? Realistically, I find that calm because people can say anything they want. They can speculate, they can tell the truth, or they can make some imaginary statement about me, you know, and basically what Taft was saying wasn't true, you know, and, and that's what made me laugh. It was, you know, just one of those things again. You know, and as far as the complexity of me, yeah, I'm pretty complex. I, I, I have a lot of gifts, you know. I'm a giver, not a taker, you know. And I know what I'm meant to do right here, you know. And it's it's tigers, it's leopards, it's animals. I have a gift with them. And that's what I'm meant to do, and that's what I'll be doing, as always. And what do you, what do you say to those people that say that, you know, the, the DNR, uh, Taft, yourself, are all sort of driven by not just freedom, but by also by tremendous self-interest. What would you say to people like that? A lot of people like that like glory and glamour. They want it for themselves. They like they want what you have, you know. And as far as you know, the government and things like that, you know, I'm ready to start the revolution tomorrow. Can y'all be there? You know, I mean, I don't believe a lot of things that go on in this world today, and that's what I'm about. On one hand. So what's next for you? Life as usual, try and struggle through tomorrow, you know, feed my tigers, play my guitar, try and find a, a sell some songs, whatever, you know, uh, basically life as usual, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing throws me off, off of balance, you know. And if people out there want to know more about what Dennis Hill is doing, where can they go to find out more? You can go to myspace.com backslash D. I N I S H I L L. And you can contact me there. Tell me anything you want. Call me anything you want. Send me money. Send me flowers. I don't care. As long as you send. That's, That's fine. Right. Let me know what you think. I'm here with uh, Dennis Hill at the IMA, the Indianapolis International Film Festival, with Craig Mintz in a very unusual place behind the camera for a change. And Dennis, thank you so much. Uh, we've enjoyed you, having you here at the film festival. Wonderful. And we wish you the best of luck. Wonderful.